Well, the wheels of change keep turning for trucking good food, right? Once a little truck, now nationally known, has shifted to a permanent location with a new name. Photojournalist Tori Garcia takes us inside the Crate Bar. A game plan. Wanted to do something on my own. On a flight returning from France. Set up the name Truck and Good Food, play off of words, Truck and Good Food. And I knew I wanted a truck. I wanted to be mobile. We didn't have food trucks at the time, um, so I contacted the farmers markets and asked if I could set up a little crepery, um, old school style, like how I saw in France. Wanted to change the way people thought about street food. You know, there's a stigma with food trucks, roach coaches, whatever. At first, people associated crepes with something sweet, but Jeff Krause was changing their minds one crepe at a time. It was a little bit of a challenge at first, but I kind of Americanized the way we served them, um, put ingredients in there that was like American friendly, if that makes any sense. The craving was fast and so was recognition. So the Huffington Post listed me as like the top, one of the top 10, I think it was eight um, most influential food trucks in the country. Trucking Good Food was also listed in the Serious Eats book of like all good things to eat all around the country. Well, that was many crepes ago. And Jeff has traded his wheels for brick and mortar. Can I get the twill? Two papa K's. Still using crepes as a blank canvas. First papa K down. Mixed with Jeff's passion with a dash of imagination that showcases a straightforward menu full of farm fresh flavors. It's ham, mushroom ragu, um, a jack cheese, and spinach with a little Parmesan twill. The ham is from the meat shop in Phoenix. And the second one was a breakfast burrito. Um, us using the crepes as a base, right? Infusing chipotle um, and adobo sauce into the batter. Um, we blitz it and then make a chipotle crepe, and then inside of it is eggs, bacon, uh, a queso jack. Um, and then we garnish it with a cilantro oil and a, and a crema, which is, uh, we use a yogurt sauce with uh, fresh citrus and um, chipotle. And then the third was a veggie stack, seasonal squash in there um, that we confit in oil. Um, so we do tomatoes, we compress them um, in a vacuum pack, compress them, put them in the layers, and then just layer it with pickled peppers. Um, a lot of different flavors going on, pesto, um, broken chev, which is a goat cheese, um, and basil oil. And of course, Jeff has a yogurt parfait that starts with... On the very bottom, the lemon gel, uh, dressed berries. Um, we, we have the dressed um, blueberries or whatever berries that we can get. We pickle those. We do strawberries that are compressed in a vacuum with elderflower, some, some syrup. Um, and then we top it with um, a whipped yogurt out of a siphon. You may be asking yourself, crepes, pastries, what about espresso drinks? Well, they have that too. So our, our coffee side is pretty simple. Um, we do espresso drinks, macchiatos, cappuccinos, lattes, ice, some of them, um, and then we do teas. The crepe bar is a simple style, just like Jeff wants it. The regulars keep coming back because, well. For breakfast, lunch, um, brunch, fast casual, little cafe. Trucking good food was many miles ago for Jeff. The memories are still fresh, just like the menu at the crepe bar. Same straightforward fare, garnished with affordable prices. <laughs> and yes, Jeff is always thinking of new creations, but keeping it simple, just the way he likes it. Great customer service, great coffee, great food. I want them to feel like they're valued in, in a way that, you know, keeps, come, keeps them coming back.